I would sell my soul for Rude Day. Sarah J. Math has taken over my life. Holy heck, how can you come up with so many words? Hey, hi, hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel, my book loving friends. My name is Christina if you're new here, and we're starting a brand new reading vlog today. What do you in? Mm. Okay, hi, how are you? It's Monday, it is currently June 13th. <laughs> um, it's literally 6 o'clock, and I am starting this brand new reading vlog. I... I don't know. I have a lot of reading plans, all right? A lot of reading plans. I'm in a huge reading mood, um, and I have a bunch of books next to me. <laughs> so, first things first, I did finish a book today. So, I did finish my reread of Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. And, of course, we all know I gave this book five out of five stars. This was my third time reading this book, and I loved it just as much as I did the last two times. This is one of my favorite books of all time. It's probably my top three books, if not top five books of all time. Literally, I just love this book so freaking much. And I just love these characters. So after I finished my reread of Crescent City, I immediately started a reread of House of Sky and Brett. <laughs> so I did literally just start this like on my way home. So I only got like 34 pages in. But um, I do have the audiobook to this and I do want to listen to it throughout the week. So that'll be really fun. I don't plan on finishing this this week. Because um, I have a lot of like reading I really want to do. And this book is a chunker. Um, but yeah, oh my god, Rune Dannon. I would sell my soul for Rune Dannon, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, so loving this. Also, I love these covers. Just love these covers. Um, and um, as you guys saw probably in my last reading vlog, if you guys watched it, I am also starting the tandem read for my Sarah J. Mass read along. So I am reading Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn this week. Um, I won't be completing both books, but we do have, we're reading this in I believe like a three week span. So we are um, doing a part one and part two. And I have to read <laughs> up to part one for the live show this week, which is on Sunday morning. So I will be reading a bunch of this. I also have reading sprints on my channel on Wednesday. So I plan on doing this and reading this during my reading sprints, which I'm very, very excited for. Um, in the meantime, there are other books I'm also in the middle of. So I'm also in the middle of a reread of Acmap. I know there's a lot of Sarah J Mass. <laughs> I know there's a lot of Sarah J Mass. I'm in a huge Sarah J Mass mood. Okay, I know I am a victim of mass destruction. She has taken over my life. Okay, Sarah J. Mass has taken over my life because literally I am reading like five Sarah J. Mass books at once at this point. And I don't know why, but they're all giving me so much joy. But yeah, I am rereading this book. This is also another one of my favorites, favorites of all time. And I'm taking my time with this book though. I don't even know if I'll even pick this book up this week because um, I am physically reading alongside it. But I am on page 277 of this book, so... I might go ahead and continue this. I'm also still in the middle of Malice. I'm only about 200 pages into Malice. But I am still loving this book. I really want to continue seeing where the quest is going to go. But because this book is such high fantasy, I do prefer to have the audiobook a little bit slower. So I am going to just be mood reading this whenever I want to. If I even pick it up this week. And then a book I really want to start this week and hopefully finish because I have the audiobook to now. Is The Kiss of Deception by Mary Pearson. I know there's a lot of books on, okay? I know I'm ambitious. We're not finishing all these books this week, okay? <laughs> but um, this is an audiobook I have had on hold for quite a while through my library. And it finally came in through Libby. And it's due in like eight days. So it's also very short. Um, and this is just a, a series that I never got to read growing up. So I really hope that I can get into it. Because I really, really, really want to read the series. So we have a lot of ambitious plans this week. Oh, I just closed all of my rings. Go me. Um, but yeah, so there's going to be a lot of fantasy. Um, <laughs> we have a lot of fantasy. We have a lot of Sarah J. Mass. There's going to be a lot of Sarah J. Mass. Uh, but yeah, so we have a lot of Sarah J. Mass. I cannot wait to continue reading this book. But as for my plans for the night, all my plans consist of are just tidying up. I have to clean up the kitchen and hopefully at least fold a little bit of the clothes and laundry that we did yesterday that I didn't fold any of. Um, so that's pretty much all I, all I have to do today, and I really want to finish editing my vlog, um, my weekly reading vlog from last week. So, I'm gonna shut up now. I will check in with you guys when I actually have an update on whatever the heck I'm reading, because <laughs> I'll be reading a lot this week, okay? A lot, but will we finish a book? I don't know. Well, I did finish a book, though. I finished Crescent City. So that is a book already, okay? I've only read three books this month, and it's a, literally the 13th. I have barely read, but I've been reading so much, but I'm in the middle of so many chunkers. So it doesn't even look like I'm doing it, but I promise you I am reading a bunch. Um, all right, guys, I will check in with you guys whenever I have a reading update. Hey, guys, how are you? It is Tuesday, it's currently 8 o'clock. And 
um, I didn't read anything last night. I did end up listening to a little bit more of House of Sky and Breath. I have no idea what page I'm on yet, but I've been listening to House of Sky and Breath pretty much all morning. I was listening to a little bit at the gym when I was getting ready after my shower and literally just on my drive and stuff. So I have been listening to a good chunk of House of Sky and Breath. I don't know what page I'm on, but I'll figure that out when I get home. But I am literally at Starbucks now. I'm about to go in and have my breakfast, have my coffee, and read. Um, and I will be reading the tandem read, Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. I am just so excited to keep reading this. I want to continue Empire of Storms really, really bad. But I am going to be continuing this tandem read. And I'm excited about it. That's literally all I have planned. So on for Empire of Storms, I am currently on page 74. And then for Tower of Dawn, I'm not that far into Tower of Dawn. Tower of Dawn, I'm only on page six. So, <laughs> um, I have my AirPods. I have my annotation pack. And all I need right now is some food and coffee and to read. Because I'm in a really big reading mood. So, we're going to go read and have a good old morning. Um, filled with Sarah J. Mass Because literally, all three of my current reads right now are Sarah J. Mass. Now, I do want to kind of get into my ideal week um i really want to start the kiss of deception um the audiobook but right now i'm listening to house of sky and breath and that's just an easy audiobook for me to listen to because i'm already it's a, it's a reread for me um so i think i might start the kiss of deception either today maybe tomorrow i don't know i am flying through sky and breath so maybe i can finish that by thursday and hopefully start um because of deception i really want to read because of deception this week i don't really care when it happens um but i really do want to start it at the very least this week let's have that going for us get back in there i am by the way i'm fitting all this in a very small cute little juicy couture bag that my boyfriend's sister actually got me so thank you to my boyfriend's sister um but yeah you guys can definitely tell that pink is my color can you not can you not guys my gym bag <laughs> And then you have my ox cord. Literally, look at my ox cord. It's, it's pink. My ox cord is pink. And if you guys could see my phone, I have a pink case on. And it's all the exact same shade of pink. <laughs> so I'm very happy at this very moment in time. But I did already place my order, so I want to go and get my coffee because I am freaking starving. I might end up having more than like the food that I got. But let's go in. Let's read some books. And... I'm just so excited to get some reading done. So I will see you guys probably later when I get home with the reading update. Um, Cause I'm very excited to just continue reading today. All right, so I will see you guys later. My veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play, and I've got something to say. Yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say It's Wednesday night, it's 905 Literally on the dot, it's 905 I intended to make this update literally the minute that I got home at like 7 something But I was so freaking hungry I sat in my kitchen for like an hour just eating so there's that um but i have done a lot of reading i even like tracked it so we're gonna go through it all um so you guys obviously saw that i went to starbucks and read some of tower of dawn and empire of storms so i managed to read a couple of pages of both so i managed to get up to page 69 wow 69 in tower of dawn um and that means that i read 63 pages of tower of dawn while at starbucks and then I read up to page 113 in Empire of Storms, and I read 39 pages of Empire of Storms. And this was just in Starbucks alone. So in Starbucks alone, I read 100 pages. How insane is that? Um, so then we have House of Sky and Breath, which I have been listening to literally almost all day. And I was able to listen to a good chunk of it at work. Not as much as I would have honestly liked to because... 
I had to make a lot of phone calls today and it just like didn't but I still read a lot okay I was on page 34 34 okay I am on page 299 299 okay that means I read 264 pages of House of Sky and Breath okay and all together all three these are I just realized that they're all Sarah J Bass books well all together today guys I read 366 pages today alone so that's incredible um, so tomorrow, did I tell you guys today's Wednesday? Because it's not Wednesday, it's Tuesday. Am I okay? Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday. Um, but tomorrow I have a little bit of a busy day. Um, so tomorrow I have, obviously I have to go to work. Um, tomorrow's a rest day, so I'm not going to the gym. So at least I get to sleep in a little bit. Um, but I have work and then I have a doctor's appointment. And then hopefully I'll be meeting up with somebody for possibly some book shopping is the hopeful plan, but we'll see how that goes. And then I have my reading sprints tomorrow. So I'm actually planning on doing a lot of reading tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping to listen to another good chunk of House of Sky and Breath. And I hope to make a little bit more progress in both Tower of Dawn and Empire of Storms. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I told you guys this. Um, I don't remember if I did or didn't. But I did end up going back and seeing like how much I had to read for both of these. So we're doing a part one um, for Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn, the tandem read. And I have to get up to page. So I won't be finishing the book for the uh, live show this weekend. We're doing it in parts. So I have to get up to page 294 in Empire of Storms. And then page 412. Okay, 412, 412 of Tower of Dawn. And can I do math? Because we all know I'm not good at math. And 294. So it's 402 pages, if I did that correctly, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have to read 402 pages of this, this week alone. Um, but we already got like 100 pages down, so, I mean, not even more than that, actually. We have 69 on one and 100 and something on the other. 113, 69, that's a lot. That's too much math for me, you guys. I just can't. Oh, we're over 100. We're like 150, 180-ish, maybe 200-ish pages in. Um, So at least there's that. There is a bit of progress. Um, So yeah, Um, it's also almost my bedtime. So I'm going to um, get ready for bed and probably bring my laptop to bed with me, even though I know that's not a good thing. But I do want to start editing this vlog. Um, and I'm also going to be bringing House of Sky and Breath with me. I'm actually going to be bringing my other copy with me. This copy does not leave my house because of this beautiful, beautiful cover. I will see you guys tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, hi. I'm currently at Barnes & Noble and I'm about to meet someone who I'm very excited to meet up with. So you can see, I'm at Barnes & Noble and I'm about to do some book shopping. This Barnes & Noble is actually closing, so everything is on sale. So me and my girly are gonna meet up and I'm gonna show you guys who she is the minute that I end up seeing her because I don't know where she is but let's go inside and uh, let's buy some books Hello. in real life also at a bookstore can I get any more perfect? of course it is perfect Christina has Christina has zero books and I, I have none. like she has a whole stack. A whole stack. Look at this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna is there a fantasy section that has to be fantasy? There has to be. It's probably over there. Let's go to the fantasy section. Because we all know that I'm definitely gonna find something in the fantasy section. As if I wasn't just here five minutes ago. Oh, I don't like it. I feel like I've seen that before. reading sprints right now with cami but i did want to come on here and give you guys a quick update on my reading progress because i've been reading a bunch today so let's get into that this angle not good but at least i don't have to actually hold you up for this angle so we're just gonna deal with it 
So I have pretty much only read House of Sky and Breath today and guys, let's just go back to where I was. Okay, I was on page 299 um, yesterday. So what page I left off on. So I was on page 299, okay? Can you guys see where my bookmark is? I am currently on page 705. This is how much I've read today. And I'm about to continue reading more. I have not been able to stop listening to this audiobook as of lately. And it's kind of just been everything. Um, I did have a appointment today with my gynecologist. Um, and I ended up reading a bunch because it took forever for me to get seen. Um, so I read like a good chunk whilst there. I was reading during my drive. I was reading um, during breakfast. It was just a lot of reading today. Um, and I just haven't been able to put this book down and I'm loving this book so freaking much. So I am going to continue reading it now during the sprints um, and try to finish this and then start or not start, but continue my tandem read. That's pretty much the plan, but I did want to get into a book haul. So I'm going to show you guys what I got at Barnes Noble. So let me go and get those books. Hold on. I got some books. So I ended up getting a couple of fantasies. I got three books in total and I'm going to try to see if I can get another angle. Okay. I think that's a better angle. I'm going to try not to move because then this is definitely going to fall. But I did get three fantasy books while I was there. They had a pretty good selection. A lot of the books were gone, but I did get a couple. Two of the three books that I have, I've never even heard of before. So hopefully they're good. Um, so the first book I got is called Ten Arrows of Iron by Sam S Sky Sykes. Sykes, I guess. Um, I just loved the spine. The spine really got my attention. And then the back of it just says Salvi Cacophony. I don't know what that means outlaw outcast and outnumbered destroys all that she loves her lover lost and cities wait what her lover lost and cities burned in her wake all she has left in her magical gun and her all-consuming quest for revenge against those who stole her power and took the sky from her that's all i read and that's all i needed to read everything was half off at barnes and noble so like that little that little bit got my attention this book is also like ripped but it's fine it's not that big a deal it was half off. I can't really complain. Um, I've been in like the biggest fantasy mood. So this really is like speaking to me when it comes to fantasy. And I just think it's a book that I would genuinely love. I also just like love like the formats of like these really floppy, large, like tall fantasy books. They're kind of my faves right now. The next one I got is actually A Time of Dread. This is by John Gwynn, which is the exact same author who wrote Malice that I'm actually really enjoying and I'm loving the writing style. So when I saw this, I immediately picked it up. I was like, I definitely need this book in my life because I just want to read more John Gwynn. Um, so I bought this. I was trying to look for the other books of Malice, but they didn't really have any there, so that was okay. And then the last book I got might come to a surprise, okay? I got Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson, okay? This book was half off. I do not own books two or three. I own book one, which is The Way of Kings. I know I'm going to love this series, and the book was half off. I couldn't miss the opportunity to get book four for half off. I couldn't. So I got it, and I bought it, and I have no regrets by it. This book is humongous. Holy heck, how can you come up with so many words? Ooh, pretty. Um, but yeah, this is just motivating me to want to read The Way of Kings, which I think I might do like a really big buddy read with. Um, some of my book two besties um, for The Way of Kings so we can all actually read it. But yeah, I got some good old reads and a good old little book haul. Um, so yeah, I got some pretty good books to add to the collection and everything was half off. Guys, I got all three of these books, by the way, for $32. $32 for all three of these chunky ass fantasies. So I call that a success. Um, but I am going to actually go read now during my sprints because that's kind of the point of them. Um, so I will probably see you guys later. So I just cut off my reading sprints with Cami, and I am going to make this a really quick update because I am super tired. It's literally 9 30 and I should be in bed. Um, but I did finish House of Sky and Breath, guys, which is insane. I saw this book on Monday and I have read um, probably about 500 pages today. <laughs> Um, of this book alone, which is insane to me, but this is literally probably my favorite book that Sarah has probably ever written, in all honesty. I think this is my favorite series that she's written, and this book just means so much to me. I love it so much. But yeah, and then I ended up reading a chapter of Tower of Dawn, 
in the last reading spring, you guys can obviously see that it's dark out. <laughs> um, so I've been on sprints for about five, six, seven. It was 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30. I've been on reading spins for almost four hours. So it's been a long time, but I did get a bunch of reading done. I got about 100, 100 and so pages of Sky and Breath and um, about 15, 20 pages of Tower of Dawn. And I am about to go to bed. And tomorrow, I'm going to be starting The Kiss of Deception. I have the audiobook for that, so that'll be my audiobook for tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. I also need to read more of Tower of Dawn and Empire of Storms tomorrow. So hopefully I can read 100 pages of the tandem read and start because of deception i think that's the plan so i will see you guys tomorrow morning probably before i go to the gym okay bye hello everyone happy friday i am currently about to head into the gym but i wanted to close off this weekly reading vlog it is currently 7 a.m in the morning um and we're about to get a really good workout in but i don't want to let you guys know a couple of reading updates before i get out uh, so first things first, I did start The Kiss of Deception yesterday, and I'm loving this. Um, I only managed to get to chapter 10 yesterday, which is eight, page 84, um, but oh my god am I loving this. I'm just loving the whole, like, princess who rebels and runs away type thing like i didn't know anything about this book but i am loving every single thing so far i love uh leah leia i think it's leia leah i'm loving leah's character um i'm having a really good time with her and i just can't wait to continue this so i'm hoping to finish this this weekend um and then i ended up reading a little bit more of tower of dawn and empire of storms so for empire of storms i managed to get to page 134 and then for tower of dawn i managed to get up to page 121 so um i made a little bit of progress in these not as much as i wanted to i do have to still read a bunch of them but i did manage to still read over a thousand pages this week um because i read um i read and completed house of sky and breath in two days and that is 800 pages by itself i've read a little bit over 100 pages of these two and I've read 84 pages of this book and I read about 150 pages of Crescent City when I finished it Monday morning. So I've read a lot this week um, and I'm hoping to read even more this weekend. This weekend I have a lot planned so hopefully I'm able to actually get some more stuff read but I'm hoping to start a weekend reading vlog and hopefully everything goes according to plan but we will see um but yeah so I just want to close off this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already stay tuned for some more bookish content from me and I'll see you guys in a video coming soon bye